Minnesota Fighting Vikings finally got a young, up-and-coming, hotshot offensive coordinator since they missed out on Stefanski uh, in one Clint Kubiak. But the fact is, he's never called plays before. So the question is, what kind of offense, what flavor is he going to bring to the 2021 Vikings? Bit of a toss-up, but we're bullish AF on the son of Gary, Vikings quarterback's coach. So here are the top five things that Clint Kubiak is going to bring to the 2021 uh, Vikings offense. Number one, probably the most important, so the relationship with Kirk Cousins. And Clint has been a quarterback's coach for the past two seasons, and during that time, Kirk has posted quarterback ratings of 107.4 in 2019 and 105 in 2020, the best of his career. And the 2020... 105 is that much more impressive considering how he started the first six games, throwing 10 interceptions. Ah. So no coach in the NFL right now knows Kirk Cousins better. And uh, I think that that's going to be very prodigious uh, for the Vikings offense since Kirk's probably not going to be traded. They're going to run it back with him in 2021 in all likelihood unless San Francisco ups their bids. Hmm. Uh, But you saw how Stefanski, who was quarterback's coach in 2018, when John Filippo was was OC, how he transitioned to play caller in 2019. Their relationship built in with Kirk uh, was greatly beneficial. Uh, And I think that Clint will be in tune with what Kirk likes, what he does well, and accentuate the positives of Kirk while limiting the downside. And also just drumming up angry Kirk. Can we do that? Woo! Uh, Next up. Thing number two that Clint Kubiak brings to the Vikings offense, blank slate. So now youth is no guarantee of innovation, but age is no guarantee of wisdom and efficiency. And and too often in every industry, you see older individuals uh, get stuck in their ways. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Especially people who, who have had success before. They're like, well... That's the way that's always been done, and we will never change it. That is the death knell. That that is the death knell of every single industry. And Clint, never calling plays before, can actually be an asset because he's not tied down to, hey, this worked back in the day. This worked X. And opposing teams will have no idea what his tendencies are in a given situation, which will make it harder to game plan, especially at the beginning uh, of the season. And also, there's no romanticism around, well, well, this play was gangbusters back in 1997 with uh, John Elway and Terrell Davis and Rod Smith and e- Easy Ed McCaffrey. Woo! Great. No. Uh, and yes, Zimmer will want to run the ball. And Clint would be stupid not, not to use Dalvin Cook in the running game. Plus, getting him going in the passing game a little bit more? Would love to see. And just because he's young, like that doesn't mean that he's going to throw it 50 times a game like in Madden. No. I mean, Sean McVay... Uh, of the Rams, the Kevin Stefanski of the Browns are two you know, young offensive minds, but they run the piss out of the football. And, and I think that you will see that with Clint Kubiak to a degree. Uh, next up, thing number three that Clint Kubiak brings to the Vikings, hunger. Na, 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 na. So a guy like Gary Kubiak, Colin plays last year, he's been to the top of the mountain. I mean, he's a Super Bowl winning head coach for, for goodness sake. But Clint, first time Colin plays, he's just dying. He's just burning for those honors and to prove himself and step out of his dad's shadow and prove that he is his own man. He isn't just a nepotism case. He can bring it, you know, just like Kyle Shanahan. And he wants to be a head coach. Plus, you know, he's 33. And looking around the NFL at guys like, well, Shanahan, McVay, Zach Taylor, Brandon Staley, Stefanski, and the 12-year-old boy in Green Bay, he knows that that's within reach. Because what's to say that the Vikings... Offense is phenomenal next year. Kirk Cousins slays it, makes a Pro Bowl. Uh, Justin Friggin Jefferson blows up yet again. uh, And the Vikings go on a run that Clint won't be a hot coaching commodity. He certainly will at least get interviews, perhaps even with the Vikings. Right. So he knows that, hey, this is his shot. And he could ascend very quickly in today's NFL. Uh, Next up, thing number four that Clint Kubiak brings. The wide receiver background. So this is important. So be, before becoming a quarterback coach, he spent four years coaching wide receivers at Texas A&M, two years as an assistant with the Vikings, as well as one year uh, at Kansas. And that background will really help him see the offense from Jefferson and Thielen's point of view. And it will be more democratic in why things work, why things don't work, as well as designing the passing game. So I think that his relationship with Kirk Cousins, as well as his time as a wide receiver coach, will inc- be a little bit more inclined to the passing game, a little bit more innovation innovation when uh, you're coordinating that side uh, of the offense. Uh, plus, he'll actually play Justin Jefferson the first two games of the year, unlike his pops. Nah. And J.J., could be in line for a kaboom season. Like, we're talking first team, all pro, getting it done in 2021. Uh, lastly, uh, thing number five that Clint Kubiak brings to the Vikings. So, scheme diversity. 
So he's got his dad, uh, of course, who comes from the West Coast background uh, from the Shanahan tree. And when Kubiak started at Texas A&M in 2010, it was under Mike Sherman, who comes from the West Coast scheme, uh, Holmgren, Bill Walsh tree. And then in 2012, when he was still at College Station, Kevin Selman and Cliff Friggin Kingsbury came in with the air raid flavor that you savor. Johnny Football blowing up. Woo! I like to see that 2013, 2017, and 2018, he was Bill, Bill Musgrave's uh, flavor of the West Coast. 2014 with Norv's Eric Coriel, and 2019 with Stefanski's offensive gumbo. Like he's been exposed to a lot of offensive schemes, and he's smart enough to draw from the best parts of them. So it, I'm really excited to see what Clint Kubiak could uh, potentially bring. Plus, you know, Gary Kubiak. Longtime old school offensive guy, and you did see at times that the Vikings were implementing elements of RPOs. Now, was that Clint Kubiak? Like, hey, hey, Dad, hey, Pops, hey, 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 let's try this just just a little bit, especially on third down. You like to see that. So overall, I'm pretty pumped about Clint. And like we said at the top, Vikings fans have wanted a young hotshot offensive mind for a long time, and Vikings let Stefanski walk, but now they have a makeup call in Clint and. It isn't out of the realm of possibility that, hey, say this year goes wonky. Hopefully not. But the offense is top dog and Zimmer gets washed out. And then uh, the Wilfs and Spielman are like, okay, Clint, let's go. Let's go. Right. So Because the Vikings offense has the parts. And if they can get the offensive line figured out, I think they have the chance to be one of the best offenses in the National Football League next year. So let's go. Let's go. I mean, screw the defense. The defense will be fine. But let's just score 50. Every single game. Let's go. Uh, be your thoughts. Clint Kubiak, what he brings the Vikings. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Pull some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.